Greetings, everybody. LVW coming back with another episode of Bedrock Minecraft. And here we are over at the ice tray. We finished this up last episode. And as you can tell, it's uh, been a few days. and gotten some snow collecting over on the edges of the pathway and whatnot. And uh, it, it uh, harvests a nice, nice amount of stacks and stuff like that. So, let's uh, get to it here. Before I start on the next part of this project for the ice tray, I just wanted to point out one quick thing I've noticed on this. Um, when you're walking over these half slabs here, if you stay in the middle, you're pretty much okay. okay but if you kind of edge to the, to the sides here a little bit, notice how I'm getting like like slowed up or stopped. Or It's an interesting, I don't know really I want to say a bug, but between trying to uh, cross over the half slab and the ice at the same time, it like slows you up. But if you're in the center section, like this, you're pretty much okay. Alright, so just be mindful of that. And uh, one of the things I also noticed, uh, I don't know if I just derped on this or um, this has been a change or something, but there are mobs spawning up here and they're spawning on the ice itself. Uh, I don't remember mobs spawning on ice before. I mean, I, I know with the aquatic update there were, there were some changes stuff made, and especially since we now have ice biomes. Um, that may have changed. I haven't actually worked with the ice biomes since we updated to the aquatic uh, update. So just be mindful that uh, you have to keep an eye out there will be spawnage up here based on the ice because nothing will spawn on the half slabs and then there's enough lighting out on the edges here nothing will spawn there so it'll be out here on the ice so it'll give you plenty of time to spot it ahead of time and take care of it with like a bow or a thrown trident or something like that or um, the crossbow so now what we're going to be working on is the uh, snow farm and uh, this is going to be a nice, simple, easy build. I've already prepped the floor ahead of time here. Uh, got the space cut out and stuff like that. And uh, got the supplies and everything ready to go. Now, if you haven't made a snowman before, it's actually fairly easy. Let's collect a little bit of the snow here and I'll show you. Um, now I can go around and collect all the snow and let it wait for it to re-snow and everything like that. But this farm will allow me to collect the snow whenever I want. And to make a snow block, you just take four snowballs and you get one snow block per four snowballs. All right. Simple, easy. And then from there, you can get your, you know, your snow layers and stuff like that and whatnot. Um, I, I mean, I'm, obviously, I got enough snow stuff around here. I can just go around and harvest it that way. But this farm makes it a lot easier. I just come up here, deal with it, and it's, it's done. So let's get into it. Okay, now the first thing I want to do is set up where I'm going to actually be collecting this. So I need to knock out three blocks here. Uh, by the way, I'm right. I centered this right in the center of the farm, so you can see that's the center of the farm right there. And here's where the walls are normally placed. All right, so three blocks out from the center there. We're going to take a double chest. Which will get filled up quick, by the way, because these snowballs only stack up to 16, by the way. All right, and then off of that, we're going to use one single hopper, which we're going to attach to there. Okay, now comes the fun part. We need to actually put in a um, hopper minecart. Now, a hopper minecart is nothing more than a minecart with a hopper stuck inside of it. So, you know, you make them separately, and then you stack them on top of each other, and that creates the hopper minecart. And the way I'm going to do this is going to be the most easiest way for anybody to do it. Uh, normally, I would just, you know, put the track down down here and just hit the track away. Some people may have an issue with trying to hit this track properly. So, you, you we can't tell which one we're hitting, if we're hitting the, the minecart or if we're hitting the rail. Here you can. Now I'm hitting the rail. But if you do this, it drops in place anyway, and you just get back your supplies. Easy as pie as that. 
And then what we can do from there is lock it into place because these other three blocks right here lock it into place so it will not move. And you just shift place. Shift. You're not going to shift the place for me, are you? Oh, we'll do it this way then. There we go. And now what happens is that minecart may move just a little bit, but it will never move out of the spot, so it will stay above that lower hopper. And then what will happen is any block that goes here will get sucked into that and then be pulled out from the bottom hopper and, of course, put into our chest. Now, you can't put anything on top of here, though. So what we need to do is... Uh, da, 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 da. One more. I need to, let's see, here's the white concrete. We're going to use a white concrete block. And we're going to take a piston, place it upside down here. And then we're going to take a lever, place it on the block next to it. Actually, I think you place them on the pistons now. And then push that block down into place. Now what happens is, is that block is pushed down into the minecart hopper and they actually kind of occupy the same space, which technically they shouldn't, but they do. So what that allows us to do is now we have a solid surface here. And, uh, oops, did it. Where did that go? Oh, pfft, it's all the way up top. Did you see something? Yeah, you can, okay. And it doesn't bounce off. So you can put the lever on, on the, on the uh, piston if you want to. Now, the reason we are putting a block here is because the snowman has to sit on a solid block in order for it to form a snow layer. And since I'm not going to have the minecart hopper underneath running or anything like that, and I want it close, you know, the, the clutching close to where I'm, I'm going to be standing and doing my thing here, I placed the hopper minecart inside the block itself. And then let's see, I'm going to build up my walls. I'm using packed ice for for the look. Kind of like a freezer type look. Alright. And then I'm going to you know what? I wasn't originally gonna do this, but hey, where do I go? I'm gonna build up my walls. All right, so now we have a one by two uh, space on the inside of this. All right, you know what? Let's get this night out of here. I'll switch the video over real quick and then we'll uh, come right back. All right, uh, let's get this, uh, let's get this finished, shall we? Now, we just created our one by two chamber. This is where the snowman is going to sit. So we need to get up top. Don't mind how you get up there. And before we do anything about building the snowman, what I want to do is I'm going to place a trap door on that side right there. And what that does is kind of helps to push him backwards uh, away from the front of the, um, the block as you're looking at it from down below. This tries to help to prevent you from accidentally hitting your snowman, which you don't want to do. Okay, now to build a snowman, you're going to need two snow blocks. And you're going to place it on top of the trap door. So you got to shift and place. Otherwise, you'll open and close that trap door. Place two on top of it like that. And you need a carved pumpkin. Not a pumpkin, but it has to be a carved pumpkin. Not a jack-o'-lantern either. And you just simply place it on top, and it'll fall into place like so. Now, leave that trap door closed like that. You, um, you do want to make sure that there's something covering the snowman. Because if it rains... The rain will kill your snowman. So some people might think about, okay, let's close the trap door. No, leave it there so he bounces towards the back. So his hitbox pushes him back a little bit. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply place shift, place a block there, and that prevents him from being melted by the rain. Okay. Um, between the jump cut, I also kind of knocked out the floor a little bit here, as you can tell. Um, the two next to the chest I replaced, the one next to this pillar I replaced, and if you come back here where this uh, andesite corner is, I knocked out each corner piece on both sides, alright? 
So that's the only thing I did between the uh, uh, the jump cut sets, you know, get the night away too. Okay, so now the snowman is now actually in place. There's nothing snow-wise in, in this box. So what you want to do is, because this is this farm essentially now is made. It's done. It's ready. Uh, now it's just a matter of making it look pretty. Now, so what you want to simply do is you stand anywhere within here where you can reach inside this box. Don't hit your snowman. All right. And then point to, like, the corner and just click away. And this will go as far as your shovel will take it. Now, be mindful, though, the hoppers can only pick up just so much. All right. And, I mean, as you see, stacks in 16s already. So this chest will fill up. The bottom hopper will fill up, and the hopper minecart will fill up before it won't collect anything at all anymore. I mean, look how many we already got. If, we'll just get up to 16. All right, so there. We got a stack of snowballs already. That's that's seven blocks of snow. Okay. No, uh, no, no, I'm sorry. That's uh, 16 blocks of snow. I'm thinking nine. It's four. Okay, let's get to the rest of this build. Let's see, I have, okay, let's get the rest of the concrete into place. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to place, uh, yeah, right here, three blocks here. Same thing, on, we're going to mirror on the other side. And then I'm going to, on the corner here, between these two places where the, you know, the smooth, and as it goes around, three more blocks. Sorry about the phone, guys. For those of you who are maybe new to the channel, uh, as a family person, I do not turn off my phone when I record. I have children, they're in school, and the school does contact us from time to time to uh, let us know about certain things. Okay, so that's now all in the place. And then what I want to do is I'm going to use some of this stripped birch wood. This is stripped bir birch logs. All right. all right, and simply we're just going to fill in here get a background where am I going get a background in there all okay. right and then we're gonna take birch I'm trying to keep with the white colors as you can tell birch fencing I'm gonna put one there one there one there and of course one there and then we're gonna put a torch there 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 and of course right there and this way I don't have to put any torches on the wall and it takes care of all the lighting around this whole area and then these two torches will remain on the walls to take care of the front end of this wall, plus the um, ice tray farm pathway here. All right. Now, what I want to do is for a little bit more decoration, we're going to take a couple more fencing and put it here. We can stuck on over there. <laughs> and here. So that gives us the bottom look for right now. All right. Now, I have quartz stairs and quartz slabs yeah don't ask <laughs> and we're going to get it up top and all we're going to do is a simple little cap of quartz stairs going in a square this is a, it's a cap so okay ah Just do that. All right, and then let's fill this in with some kind of junk block. And oh, I already got the slabs up. And then, of course, as you can see, it's a two by six, two by six. All right, and then we can get down. There we go, and there you are. Your snow farm is completed. One more thing for me, though. And no, you do not have to do this, um, especially if your snowman gets killed accidentally somehow. But I want to name him. So when I'm looking at him, I see my snowman, Freddy. <laughs> All right, guys. And let me see what we got uh, one, two, three, four, five. Just add a quick little, a little couple second clicking with my shovel, which is uh, there's no efficiency on it whatsoever. So it's a regular diamond shovel. Uh, you know that it goes to show you this this will fill up really quick so the snow farm is pretty pretty quick all right and then that's it guys a nice simple easy build 
And what I'll probably do is underneath is underneath this chest and stuff here, I'll take some more of the concrete white blocks and, and place it on the bottom here to keep that kind of like ice snow type look to it. All right, guys? All right. You all take care now. Thanks for supporting and watching. Bye.